I take refuge in the Buddha, in the Dharma, in the Sangha. Continuing to do commentaries on the book Zen Flesh, Zen Bones. And this is story number 34, entitled, A Smile in His Lifetime. Here's how the story goes. Mokugen was never known to smile until his last day on earth. When his time came to pass away, he said to his faithful disciples, You have studied under me for more than ten years. Show me your real interpretation of Zen. Whoever expresses this most clearly shall be my successor and have my robe and bowl. Everyone watched Mokugen's severe face, but no one answered. Now, he studied, people had studied with him for 10 years. Well, I assume he was probably 60. That means that he, Mokugan, probably didn't start teaching until he was 50 and then had students for only 10 years. So, what do you expect? Um, that's one, one aspect of this. And the next aspect of it is, of course, Mokugan knows all of his students intimately. It's not about suddenly some person comes forward and, and reveals himself in a way that somebody who has lived and studied with him for 10 years hasn't seen. Of course not. That just doesn't, isn't the way things work. So, in a way, this is a little Zen story, and it's uh, a story that is founded on the Sixth Ancestors story from the, from the Platform Sutra where the sixth ancestor went basically and saw the fifth ancestor, kind of revealed in one moment his, uh, his mind, and then without further ado, um, essentially he was given the robe and the bowl as a symbol of his understanding. Now the sixth ancestor also didn't teach for many years after that. He went and lived with uh, hunters in the woods. So, this also harkens back to Bodhidharma, who was later than the sixth ancestor. And there's another case at some point where Bodhidharma is talking with his students and says, you know, show me your Zen. And then people, of course, demonstrate something. So, in a way, it's a, a nice story. But every good teacher is always asking people to show their mind, always asking people to be direct. And so here at the his deathbed, what would be more intimate than to reveal your real heart? What would be more intimate than to touch the common denominator of your teacher and student, to be present at that moment of passing in oneness? So we have this little, little ceremony. Show me your understanding. Show me your true nature. And nobody says anything. Usually, in those circumstances, people are a little nervous. They don't really want to, to step forward. They don't want to be arrogant, um, feel hesitant in one for, for one reason or another. So that silence is actually pretty, pretty common. At the end of a, a powerful Dharma talk, at the end of a powerful teaching, at the end of something really powerful, people are silent. Their minds are silent. So Mokugen waited for a few minutes, and they're all sitting around. Incho, a disciple who had been with his teacher for a long time, moved near the bedside. He pushed forward the medicine cup a few inches. This was his answer to the command. Now, that's nice. Subtle, present, responsive. The relative and the absolute come together even in a simple motion of pushing the teacup forward. But anybody can do that. And so there's a state of mind that we do these things with. And so how do you also appreciate that that is not complete? That I know is not the best answer to these kind of questions. I know, I have, I've got, I understand. So Mokugan was looking at his disciple Incho and he said, is that all you understand? This kind of arrogant thing I know? 
And Incho reached out and pulled the cup back. Pulling the cup back, what I have asserted is just a temporary state. Perhaps I don't know. Perhaps knowing and not knowing really are two sides of the same truth. Perhaps that mind that sees beyond, I understand, is the true Dharma. Incho reached out and moved the cup back again. A beautiful smile broke over the features of Mokugan. You rascal, he told Incho. You worked with me for 10 years and have not yet seen my whole body. Take the robe and the bowl, they're yours. Now, does anyone ever see the whole body? If you have a, a person and you're looking at them, most of them is hidden. You know, you could turn them around and no matter where you turn around, one side is revealed, the other side is dark. And that's, of course, always true. Most of everything we know is only the front side of the immense not knowing. So, this is, in a way, a little bit of a, an admonition. It's a little bit of a way of, of, of teasing, kind of playing with his disciple and saying, yes. I, I appreciate, I am happy that you are who you are, that you have integrity and you have the Dharma in your being. Take the robe, take the bowl, it's your life.